So I'm here with George Monbiot, who's kindly agreed to interview me just before um, you're going on very shortly at the Celtic Connection. So this is quite a departure for you to have a tour with a CD and uh, I hear it's your idea of you think that the, the bard himself is a storyteller and that's perhaps what you're going to be doing? Well, it's the closest I'll ever get to being a rock star, which isn't very close because I can't sing, I can't play. So the one thing I can do is to talk of it. And uh -huh. so um, um, Ewan and me wrote this album together. I sort of started it off with lyric sketches, which he then adapted. And, um, and the idea is that, um, yeah, I tell stories about the issue. And the issue of loneliness stories rooted in science, in psychology, in mm -hmm. history. Uh, there's some really fascinating, extraordinary stuff to be told. Well, you and plays the songs, and um, and what we're trying to do is to open up a subject which is a bit of a taboo in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are embarrassed about talking yeah, about it, true. and often, you know, one of the peculiarities of loneliness is that you think it's just you, because you're lonely. You think you're the only person suffering from mm -hmm. it, whereas you know, what we're trying to show is there's an epidemic you know, and mm -hmm. it's devastating. It does terrible, terrible harm to people. I wrote an article about it and it went absolutely mad. You know, yeah, I, I never yeah. know, you know, sometimes I think this article's going to be huge and it's just tumbleweed, you know, and other times I think, oh, I'll do this so I can tell my grandchildren I did it, but there's no other reason because no one's going to read it. But, um, and it goes mad. And, and this was one of those. And people just really latched onto it because I think, Everyone has either experienced loneliness yeah. themselves or knows someone who has. And, and it is this great social condition which is just hitting huge numbers of people. And we're in this utterly peculiar situation of seven billion people on Earth, this crowded planet, yet all of us living in our little cells as if we're trapped within a Francis Bacon painting. But um, it was having these extraordinary effects on us severe psychological effects and driving a whole series of mental health disorders, but also very serious physical impacts. It turns out that loneliness is twice as bad for your health as obesity, as bad as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. It's, it's, um, a, a, it will um, greatly reduce your, the length of your life. Well, how could this be? It, it turns out that it's closely associated with um, high levels of the stress hormone, cortisol, which greatly damages your immune system. Um, and that makes you susceptible to a whole range of diseases. Bizarrely, it also makes you more susceptible to accidents. You're more likely to have a fatal accident if you're lonely. Um, after I'd written that article, I got stuck behind someone in a queue in a shop who was just mm -hmm. talking and talking and talking and talking you know, and basically telling her a whole life story in real time and I was, I was doing my nut because I was in a hurry you know and, and, and I was just like oh I just want to buy my screws and go home and it was like oh. so and, uh, finally she buys what she wanted and goes out the shop and I get to the front buy my screws and I'm cycling home and halfway home I'm just hit I, by a sort of bolt of lightning and I thought that's what I'm writing about. What if that's the only conversation she's had all day? What if the only reason she went to the shop was to have that conversation because of the overwhelming need to connect? And this is, after all, Celtic connections. And so that when I got home, I started writing a poem about a woman who goes to the shops to have a conversation and finds that the tills have been replaced by automated checkouts. And I got to the end of the poem, I thought, I've written a song. That's what I've done. I've gone and written a song. And so then I thought, only problem is I can't sing it. So, um, so I, um, I knew Ewan already um, at that point. So um, I got in touch with him and um, went on from there. I'm stepping out of here, I can't take it anymore. Treading the grooves of a bit of floor. A TV set is turned down for familiar faces, but none I know. The streets are crowded, but no one needs mine. Is it me or has the world gone shy? A call for company cuts as I walk. An urge to listen, I need to talk. These four walls are standing still. These four walls are standing 
interesting because these, those are things which used to bring us together. Commuting to work, you'd be on the bus yes. or on the train, That's true. Um, and or the tram, and there would be a whole bunch of people. And you'd be chatting away. Uh, you get to work, and then you'd know everyone in the workplace. Many of them might have been there 30, 40 years. You know, you'd, you'd have sort of stable relationships, sometimes a bit like a family. Um, nowadays, you, know, you go to work by yourself, you turn up at work. You know, even if you've got a job, it's probably on sort of hot desking, different shifts, all the rest of it. You're not going to know the person next door to you. You might well be on a zero hours contract. You. It's an alienating experience for a lot of people when it used to be an experience which brought people together. And so there's so many ways in which life has changed in that way to isolate us mm -hmm. in situations which normally brought us together. We think yeah. that we're getting that interaction yeah. because we're on Facebook or Twitter, whatever it is, but actually it is living a different life. Many years ago, there was a Liberal Democrat MP who raised the issue that all, all the measures that we should have economic measures about GDP and all of that, one of the measures that we should have in society is measure of happiness. Yes. And everyone's like, well, that's a bit, mm. that's a bit barking mad. But actually, mm. as the years go on, people, there's more and more people switched on to that. Yeah. That's as important as, as a living wage. Yes. yes. It's, it's living a happy life yes. and one that you feel that yeah. you're socially interacting with people. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so I think, I think that what you're doing here, Celtic Connections, I think is, is, is going to be terrific, not just entertaining, but actually you're, you're raising a big issue and um, a commitment I said I would, to Duncan that I would uh, make to you, a commitment I'd make to you is that um, I'll lay a motion in the Scottish Parliament. I don't think the issue's been raised this term and that simply allows the issue to be raised in the Parliament Fantastic. and members will sign it and maybe we'll get a debate on it and uh, we'll get a wee mention right. about the Lovely. stuff you've been writing oh, on it. Really look forward Thanks. to it. No, that's really great to hear. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.